I like visitors as much as the next Hobbit. Director Peter Jackson returns to Middle Earth in The Hobbit, an unexpected journey. The man behind the Lord of the Rings trilogy a decade ago takes on J.R.R. Tolkien's prequel with many of the same actors reprising their roles. There's nothing better than working with old friends. One of those old friends is Sir Ian McKellen, who returns as the wizard Gandalf the Grey. Once I put the false nose on and the wig and the moustache and looked at myself in the mirror, there he seemed to be uh, as if he'd never gone away. Martin Freeman plays a young Bilbo Baggins, a character Ian Holm created in The Lord of the Rings. I'm going on an adventure! Martin's fantastic. I mean, we needed a really strong dramatic actor, but someone with a great comedic skill. We never had anyone else in mind for that role. The film follows Baggins, Gandalf, and a band of dwarfs as they battle all kinds of creatures to reclaim their homeland. Freeman says battling real monsters might have been easier than trying to fight Jackson's vision. Do you have a disagreement with him about you know how a scene should be gone? If the conversation has lasted more than 20 seconds, you may as well give up because it's not going to go your way. <laughs> Two more films will follow in this new trilogy. Jackson offered a hint of what's to come. They are going to be confronted with a very large angry dragon quite soon. But at just under three hours long, an unexpected journey offers plenty of thrills. Alexis Christophorus, CBS News.